Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to be installing SIM cards in these five phones. Now we're going to have a variety of styles going from the oldest to the newest and we're going to be using the Nano, Micro and a standard SIM card and also a SIM removal tool. So hopefully by watching these five phones one of them will be similar to your phone and you'll be able to then get the idea of it even if you don't own these particular phones the process is, is pretty much the same now you do have three different sizes of sim cards now years ago most phones were a standard sim card which is this size here then it went over to a micro sim card which is this size here and then the newest phones have a nano SIM card which is this size here but you always need to check your phone first of all because you could buy a brand new phone and it still might take a standard card or a micro card don't just assume that it will definitely take a nano card just because it's new okay now also often when you buy your SIM cards now the one SIM pack here does everything so for example this micro SIM card here was part of this pack and if you have a look, it's called a three-in-one SIM. So if you want a standard SIM, you just use the middle section. Then if you wanted a micro SIM, you would just take out that section there to turn it into a micro. And then if you wanted a nano SIM, you would then just push out the middle section here and then that will get rid of all the red and just leave that little white bit that remains around the pins that would turn it into a nano card. Now I don't want to do it on this one because this SIM card is actually in use, but if you were to have a look there when it focuses in there you go can you see just the edges there you can see the indentation where you push it out for the nano sim right okay so let's start with the oldest phone to begin with it's this old Vodafone here now on this one here it's nice and simple you just push off the back like so and then that back section peels off and you've You've got this little bit of paper here just to give it a different design that's how you would uh, to change the design on these phones and then you have a sim card here now to access this sim card you need to just take out the battery like so it says there's a little bit there that says remove you lift it up and then you've got this bit here that you can just slide out and whenever you're putting in a sim always look for that symbol there so that's pretty universal there if you have a look there it's like a rectangle but it will always have that top corner missing so whichever way has the top corner missing you copy that so for example on this one here the top corner is missing here and the top corner is missing there so I know now that I just need to put the sim card in that way there like so and you just push it all the way in until it won't go anymore so you push it all the way up so that's that one there yeah okay next one is this phone here again with this one here you just need to if you have a look around the edge what you're looking for is a little indentation where you can peel off the back plate so if you have a look at this bit here you can just see it's hard to see because it's at the it's at the angle but this bit here you can get your nail in or for example you can get a blunt knife in and that means that it's going to be a type of phone where the back comes off it because some phones the back don't come off you need the sim removal tool that you'll see on the latest phone in this video okay so nice and easy you just slide that bottom bit off there again with this one here you have to remove the battery to get to the sim card so remove the battery and the sim card in this instance goes in this section here and again if you have a look at that symbol there it's got the top corner missing now don't mistake it with this one here this would be for an SD card if you wanted to boost your memory for photos and videos it's always this symbol here with the corner missing so again just copy it there the corners missing there the corners missing there so I know I've got it in the right way and just push it in there like so until it won't go in anymore again you just put your battery back in and then pop the cover back on so that's that one now we have this phone here and again if you have a look around the edges you'll see that here you can see nice and clearly on this bit this is the bit where you can get your blunt knife or your nail into so get your nail in there and just prise off the back work your way around the phone don't just yank it off work your way around so you don't snap it completely and then on this particular phone here this takes a standard sim so let's uh, 
Let's take a micro one, let's have a look. Okay, this one takes a micro one. So, sorry, not yeah, a micro one. So if you look at this one here, again, you've got your picture of the sim with the top corner missing, and this one's a micro. So you push it in that way there, the top corner's missing, just like the picture. Put it in there, that goes in there, and then you just pop your lid back on and snap it all the way around. I'm just gonna take that card out again because I probably need it again. On this particular phone, although this is a brand new phone, again, this is a micro. This will be a micro SIM. So have a look, you can see the indentation there. So get your nail under, work your way around, like so. And then if you have a look here, you see the sign there with the rectangle with the top corner missing. So just put the SIM card up the same orientation with the top corner missing. So if you have a look on all those phones, the process is exactly the same. Except that on these last couple of phones, you don't have to remove the battery. The earlier two phones, you do have to remove the battery to get to the SIM card. And again, you just clip it on, work your way around, make sure it's snapped in all the way around. And that's it. And lastly, this phone is different. Now, you will find this on a lot of the newer phones that you can't take the back off because the back is part of the finish. Okay, so on the other ones, they all had a cheap plastic back. This is a slightly more expensive phone, and you can't take the back off these. So what you need to look for is, a bit of a clue is that when you get the phone, you will have a SIM removal phone in the pack. But if you were to buy it second hand, you might not have this. Now, you'll be able to get these very, very cheaply off places like Amazon and eBay. But when you have, look around the place, don't just put it into any hole, because, for example, that's a microphone there. You, obviously you don't want to put it into the headphone jack, but you can normally tell where the SIM card is because next to the hole you will have a rectangle. Okay, but just double check all the way around before you do anything. So for example, there's another hole here, but can you see there's no rectangle next to it? That's the charging point. Having a look there. That's the on off button and the volume buttons. Again, we've got a hole up here for the headphone jack and the microphone again. So this is the only hole on the phone that has a rectangle next to it. So what you do is you just put the SIM removal tool into it and then just push in and then you will see that this bit here has popped out. So you slide that out like so. And then this is the part here that will allow you to plug in your micro SD card, If again, if you wanted to boost the memory for the photos and the, the videos in your apps, etc. And this bit here is where you will put the SIM. So if you have a look in the top corner there, it should say SIM. There you go, top corner, and underneath it, it says SD down here for the SD card. So this one here takes a nano SIM. So again, if you have a look at the cutout, the cutout has the top corner at the 45 degree again. So just get your SIM card and put it in the nano SIM card, put it in there, just like that, and it fits perfectly, and then pop it in your phone. It won't let you put it in the wrong way, so for example, if I try to push it in this way, it does let me, but if I try to put it in this way, it won't let me. So again, don't force if it. If it doesn't go in, it means it's in the wrong, it means you've got it in the wrong way. So flip the phone over 180, so if it doesn't go in that way, flip the phone 180, and just shh, push it in there like so, and that's it. That's how you change the SIM card on that. If you need to remove it again in the future, it's nice and easy. You just put your tool in there, push, and then when you pull it out, the SIM card normally just falls out depending on which way you have it. There you go, it fell out. Okay, so I hope you found that video useful. Please give it a thumbs up uh, if you liked it, and uh, subscribe for more how-to videos. Okay, take care now, thank you, bye.